this morning we left our hotel in New Jersey and drove to Pennsylvania. My husband's next to me. Uh, he is leaving the car now. Uh, so, he drove me to a Goodwill in Swarthmore, Pennsylvania. And we took a little tour around Swarthmore College before coming in here because he's going to be meeting up with his friends for lunch. But he's dropping me off at the Goodwill to see if I can find anything that I can flip for a profit, but it also has to fit in the back of our car there. I can't get a lot of things, don't have a lot of room, but let's see what we, let's go in and see what I can find. <laughs> It's a really nice sized store. There's the area that they put all the furniture. Here's all the metal shelves. I saw this up with the pillows. It says a wee bit wicked. That is so unique. Oh, it's got a lot of creasing on it. I did look this up, but I couldn't find a good comp, so I did leave it behind. A whole shelf of Lennox. These were such beautiful candlesticks. They wanted $5.99 each, and they sell for around $30 as a pair. I saw this swan trinket dish, but I also left it behind. I always love bright colors. $6.99. It says something in Lewis under that tag, hand painted. There's a dead bug in there, but so pretty. It's a Milson and Lewis, and they're selling for about fifteen dollars. So I can't really pay seven for it, but it's beautiful. That's pretty, but it. Chipped up a gold teapot. Let me see if this is back here. Chancellor to Chancellor or something? I can't read that. It's really neat. I'm going to put it in here. I really liked this. It is FTD, but I think it might still be vintage. Very pretty. These are interesting. That is full salt. Salt and pepper. $1.99. That yellow fade on there 
really makes them look vintage and it's corroding there. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see these back here. Very lightweight. Made in China, it says. Also, it would be four dollars for those. Four dollars, four dollars. These are interesting though. Okay, I had to look it up because I was like, I couldn't think of what I wanted to call these. These are blendos. This is the Anchor Hawking Yellow. They come in different colors. These aren't in the best of condition, but I think I'm still going to pick them up. Oh, try not to break them. Put them that way. Definitely a Linux bowl. Made in the USA, so it's more vintage. Ten dollars. Just so pretty with the swirl design on it. They sell for around twenty dollars, so if you can get it for the right price, it's definitely worth picking up. Did I tell you guys that my husband went to lunch and left me here, but that's okay. I'm having fun shopping. Oh, this is this is a Nesco. It's cute. Oh, it's chipped. Oh, that is Franciscan Desert Rose. Yep. And somebody is peeling off all the labels. Look at that. Just about everything I'm picking up. I liked this green planter, but I did leave it on the shelf. As I turned the corner, there were even more shelves filled with Christmas items. And behind me, but I didn't take a picture of it, was games. And on the other side of these Christmas shelves were toys. Look at this. That's a fashion statement. stands for. These look familiar, but I don't know why. I did look these up and I did leave them behind along with the other plates that you can barely see in that picture. A quick look through the luggage area. And this beautiful Jansport, it sells for about 15 now let's take a look through all of the dishes. Right as I turn the corner into where they have all the dishes, I see some Franciscan Desert Rose. Three dollars each, but these are just the saucers. Graph. Should I name that? And oh yeah, it's a donut pattern. They match those little salt and peppers I found earlier. So those plates in the back, that's this one. 
Countryside stoneware, 99 cents, made in Japan. I just don't like that pattern though. So delicate, the white lace pattern. Crescent China, made in Japan. Called Silver Lace. This poor little Pyrex went through the dishwasher a lot. I spy some watermelon on the bottom here. Oh, how pretty. Oh, there's a hair stuff for that one. <laughs> Three dollars. With the matching bowls. I like that they're nesting too. I could not find a comp on these plates, but I really liked the yellow. These are definitely vintage. I like the rooster on them. I put the name up on the screen for you. Definitely a bolo if you can find the bigger plates or other serving dishes. That one was chipped and I didn't want to get the bread plates. This was a really nice spongeware piece. It was heavy. They wanted $6.99 for it. It was pretty, but it doesn't sell for a lot. I've already been looking through the most, most of them. Now this one's kind of cool. The Cardinal on it. They're $2.99. The big Starbucks one. Uh -oh. An Italy mug. Price torn off. <laughs> So I picked these up and put them in my cart. These are the Pyrex ones, $1.99, but I, I, they don't go for as much as I thought. They went $3 a bowl. Mm, now I'm in the, I guess, serving platter area. That's cute, but I think the gold's coming off of it. I'm in the picture aisle and I just found these. They're like 3D, but that's like paper. A stiff type of, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, these are old. Don't know how old. Has an original price tag of $1.98. They went $5. They look to be in good condition. I can't quite make that name out. Okay, I did look them up and they are coming with me. Turns out it's like metal, it's a metal frame. Tell you more about the artist in the hall. I am outside the Goodwill waiting for my husband to come back and pick me up. 
my total spend was $49.22, but about $11 of that plus the tax are items that I am not going to uh, resell. The rest of the items I will show you in the haul. We made it to our hotel room and I'm doing the haul from here today. This is the first item I put in my cart. Now, it was in a bag and it got a little bit wet. Those spots are because it got wet and it also got a, whatever this is. It did not look like that before I put it in the bag. I'm sure that'll come off. This is a glass case for Yalea. Yalea. This particular one in this color sells for around $20, $25. I'd be happy if I got $15 for it. $3.99. As I was looking this up, I noticed a lot of Vera Bradley uh, glass cases, and I have one at home I haven't listed, so as soon as I get home, I'll be listing both of them. So we talked about this earlier in the video. Paid a little under $4 for them. I have to clean the top of that a little bit more. But this this is part of the Anchor Hocking Blendo set. There's Cruets that match this and other serving pieces. And these go anywhere between $15 and $20. And this one is filled with salt. While I was going around the Goodwill, I kept my eye out for more pieces to this particular set. I was really hoping to find the Cruet pieces. This particular item, I did keep it in my cart. I thought about putting it back. Paid $2.99 for it. This is Chant Chantelier. Chanticleer? Oh my gosh, I can't say it. Chantic. Lear. I have looked up, that word comes into a lot of listings, all by different companies. So I'm not sure if that's an art, artist name. I've looked up terracotta shell dish with the bird on it. I've Every which way, I've done image searches on both eBay and on Google Lens. And a, there was one listing that came up that looks very, very similar on Etsy, uh, but it wouldn't give me the price of the item because I guess the item was sold or something. It wouldn't give me the price of it. It just said that they were out of stock. There is a few terracotta items that are 100% terracotta that they're, they're bigger and uh, have that same name on them. And they are listed for like $75, $100. I just have such a hard time. If anybody knows anything about this particular maker, it was also associated with Shawnee pottery or California pottery. So it might be in that realm. I'm not sure if it's vintage. It kind of has that vintage look to it, but I wasn't sure. I'm thinking I'm anywhere between $20 and $40 on this particular item. These cast iron pine cones that hang, I saw that Pottery Barn was selling these where it actually sold an, an actual hanger so this would hang in the air. Of course you could hang them yourself somewhere. So I don't have the hanger part. And then you just twist that open and put your tea light in there, either electric or a real one. A real one would be fine in something like this. There's three of them here. I paid $4.99 for each of them. And I think I can get $45 or $15 a piece for them. I think I am going to sell them as a set. The last items in my haul are these two pictures here and it was really hard to make out the name your mind kind of goes to Hank Bog and some people have listed up as that H-A-N-K-B-O-G 
that's not the name because then I saw another name on there and then I actually did a little more research it's H E N K B O S is the last name Boz Hank Boz he's a Dutch painter he was born in like 1901 and died in 1979 I'm going to drop a little information thing in the video here So, as I said in the store, this frame is actually metal. I didn't even realize that at first until I was like putting them in the cart and I'm like, oh, or getting ready to put them in the cart. I'm like, those are metal. And then I thought this was paper. This is also metal, which is how he does the 3D effect on that. Don't know if you guys can see that, but it's definitely, oh my goodness, I just knocked that over. Um, it's like bumped out as 3D effect on all of the items in the painting, all the fruit there. So he has a whole bunch of these pictures that he did and so people are probably collecting them to make a whole set. I paid $4.99 for both of these and if I sell them together I can expect to get somewhere between $28 and $32 for the pair. I would have picked up a lot more items, but the prices were a bit high. Now, I was in Swarthmore, which is kind of an affluent area. I was hoping to see better items, too, like better selection. There was a lot of Lennox there. Of course, they wanted the Lennox items were really priced up. And some of them I would have picked up if they didn't have them priced for like $10 or $7. I would have definitely picked up a lot more items but I'm happy with my haul I think I did pretty good I will catch you guys on the next video